What's going on guys, it's Hi, and this is Nanoskin Supercharger. A month ago I applied this product onto this Toyota Corolla, and in this video we're going to see how the coating has held up. Keep in mind this car is a daily driver and it is not garaged. Since application it's been raining a lot here in Washington so the car hasn't been washed. Needless to say there are some contaminants on the surface. Today we're going to be doing some basic tests to see how the coating reacts to water. We're going to start off with a dirty unwashed car. Let's start off with the hood and see how it looks. For this video I'm using a garden hose with a nozzle that has a variety of different spray patterns but we'll only be taking a look at two of them. This first one is the flat pattern and it puts out smaller water droplets. As you can see the hood is still beating up very well and water still rolls off very quickly. We're now going to switch to the shower setting on the hose nozzle. This pattern puts out much more water and is similar to a heavy rainstorm. I like to use this setting to flood the panels to see how well the coating moves water off of the panel. Because there is a good amount of water, there won't be as much beading. This is more so a look at the quality of water sheeting. As you can see, water is sheeting pretty quickly. This is good in a real world scenario because sheeting will help to dry out the panel and reduce water spots. Moving to the doors, first using the flat spray pattern, we see that water just beads up like crazy and just rolls right off the panel. It's moving so fast that it's actually bouncing off the edge of the door. This is pretty impressive. Using the shower setting, we see that again, water moves off of the door very quickly. It would seem that the coating has held up very well on the side of the vehicle. Moving on to the roof, this is where we'll see the biggest diminish in the coating. It's obvious that it's still there as water still beads, but there is less of it and more sheeting. The water sheeting is also moving a lot slower than in other places. This is evident when I use the flat spray pattern, but more so when I use the shower setting when I'm just flooding the panel with water. Finally, the trunk. Here we see that again the coating has diminished a bit. This isn't as obvious when I use the flat spray pattern and little water is hitting the surface. With this, we actually get a good amount of water beating. But when I switch to the shower setting and flood the panel, we see that there is a good amount of water sheeting and the water is starting to stick. For those who are interested, I did coat all of the glass surfaces of this vehicle, and like the body panels, the results vary. The coating never really stuck to the windshield in the first place, so I wasn't surprised that it wasn't performing all that well after a month. The rear windshield is doing a little better as there is still some water beating, and water is still sheeting off of the glass, however it is slowing down. On the other hand, the side windows are doing great. There is still plenty of beading and water just rolls right off of the glass. Again, these were the results that I got from Nanoskin Supercharger after a month on a dirty car. At this point, I'm going to wash the car then show you the same test on a clean car. I'll just go through and show the various clips of the test and you can decide for yourself if there is any appreciable difference in the results when it comes to a clean and dirty car.
In the first video that I made on Nanoskin Supercharger, I said that if this product lasted a month, I would be happy with it. And here we are, one month later. I would have to say that this product gets a thumbs up. For just under $6 a bottle, Nanoskin completely hits it out of the park with Supercharger. There's nothing in this price range that's as easy to apply and gives this kind of results. Where it's currently at, this coating can easily last another month and who knows, maybe even longer. And because of that, I can definitely recommend this product. If you're looking for something cheap and easy to apply that will last at least a month, I would definitely give Nanoskin Supercharger a try. I hope this video has helped you out. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it around, comment down below any thoughts or questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.